Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. Find a shared enemy so you can galvanize your prospect. Now, a lot of uh, coaches and consultants know that in order for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, you need to build a community. You need to build an audience. These are the people that are going to be listening to your stuff, sharing your content and actually buying from you. Now, you, in order for you to be able to galvanize people or have people buy into your message and your story, first of all, you need to identify who these people are that are in need of your message in order for them to solve the problems that are happening in their lives. And in order for this to happen, I'm going to bring you to a sensitive yet overlooked subject, which is basically known as help your customers throw rocks at their enemies. All right. Before you get all triggered and you start thinking this uh, podcast is all about violence, I really want you to Understand and open your mind knowing that one big key to actually growing a following is creating or wedging wars, all right? So you're wedging wars against their enemies and you want to create an us versus them scenario within your community. And I'm going to try and elaborate what that means uh, throughout this podcast so that you too can learn the tricks of the masters. That way you can um, create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And I want to uh, be upfront and um, put out a disclaimer here that I'm not teaching you to create a cult um, once you have this information, but I want you to use this information so that you too um, you know, can actually create a community of people that buy into your message uh, in order for you to be able to help them solve their problems. So like I said, one big key to actually growing a following uh, is creating an us versus them within your community. You want to be able to take a stand for what you actually believe in, okay? Why you're different and why you want people to rally against you because if you actually have identified your target market and you've clarified your message, not everyone is going to, um, you know, beat a pathway to your door because if you have done that, then you've just gone the middle of the road, which obviously um, not a lot of people win if they're actually just sitting on the fence, all right? So you need to actually pick a side. And that's why um, in most scenarios, and especially as consultants, we definitely would need to establish battlegrounds. Either you are in or you're out. Are you with us or you are not with us? Is it, it is always us versus them. So you need to know what your clients or your prospects are are going through right now that they would literally go to war uh, in order to eradicate or to take away from. So you need to basically show people that when the time comes, you would also take up arms and help them fight against this enemy. Now, this enemy could be something like the economy, could be something like the disease or the virus. It could be something like politics, religion, whatever the enemy is. You need to show people where you actually stand. That way you have people rallying behind you. So you want to really be careful moving forward about this because you're now going to take a stand for what you actually believe and why 
people should rally behind you and why and what it is you're collectively uh, fighting against, especially when you're, you know, in, a, in, 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 in the entrepreneurial revolution that we're in, where everyone has an opinion and it doesn't mean that every opinion um, should be fallen. So why is your movement better than the alternatives? Why is your movement better than the competition? Okay. And once you know what you are against and what you're going to help your prospect fight against and throw enemies, um, throw rocks at their enemies, you would be definitely uh, be standing out in a sea of me to uh, coaches and consultants that are out there. A lot of um, experts write about this and talk about this. And if you're not creating a scenario where people know you for something, then you'll be known for nothing. And let me tell you something. Nothing bonds like having a common enemy. Look at our scenario right now. Look at the, the politics in the world right now. I know we're not meant to be talking about politics, but I just want to, I want you to realize how the governments... And politicians pit, pit people against each other in order to garner support, all right? There's always Black Lives Matter or some um, Caucasian person is gets indicted in court and, you know, police are showing their brutality just because of race. Race is actually used as a weapon to galvanize people towards each other. And I'm actually having a feeling that the virus that we're going through right now is actually going to be weaponized. Yes, the virus exists, but the weaponization that is now being used um, against those that have been vaccinated and those that haven't been vaccinated is now what other people are creating platforms on. And I'm not saying you should go to those kind of extremes, um, you know, as in telling people that, um, you know, your religious or political views, but find something within your industry and something that means, um, you know, a lot to your customers that they are trying to fight against. So it could be fighting against mediocrity, fighting against uh, poverty, fighting against the current situation, anything. Find something that you can stand for and start crafting your brand around that um, in order for you to actually have an audience that um, is willing and able to um, follow through with you and eventually buy from you. And I realize, and I'm going to say this with utmost respect and be careful about what I what I'm trying to put across here because it actually sounds ugly, yet it is true just the same. So I want you to approach this podcast with an open mind, knowing that whatever I'm talking about is something that's already around us. We just need to wake up and take note of it. And it's like compounding interest. And I think it was Albert Einstein that mentioned that Compounding interest. If you know about it, then you earn it. If you don't know about it, you're paying it. So if you actually know what your message is doing and how you can use it to galvanize your prospects, I guarantee you, you will create a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So take this not for how ugly it sounds, but for the truth that actually is embedded in this message today. So those who um, actually understand this can actually utilize this to create businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. And the politicians around us are actually doing it. And those that don't understand it, or let's say even worse, understand but refuse to address it, are throwing away one of the most effective ways to actually connect with people. No matter what we want to think, we're never going to be the same. There's never going to be equality. If you want men and women to be the same, then try and look at a man trying to wrap Christmas presents, and then you will know that equality would never exist. Or just look at your hands. Look at the height of your fingers. No two fingers on the same hand are of the same height, all right? So you need to pick a lane, pick your own uh, strategy, and then stick with it. That way, those that, um, you know, will be aligned with what you have to say will definitely 
come looking for you all right so if you understand this and if you uh choose to use it you're actually going to be using one of the most effective ways to actually connect with other human beings and no matter what you think of this the um be rest assured that people have enemies and they will continuously have enemies through and through and all people it has been said that everyone you meet is engaged in some sort of struggle that they're going through, that they're trying to eradicate in their life. And the thing that they're struggling with, that now becomes their enemy. All right. So maybe they're struggling with uh, building um, relationships. Maybe they're struggling with connecting with their, um, you know, workers, whatever that becomes, it becomes their enemy. And the thing that they're struggling with is what they need to um, get rid of as soon as possible and you just so happen to have the solutions and the processes for them to be able to throw rocks at their enemy now whether it's um it's another individual or group or maybe it's an illness whatever setback or maybe a rival philosophy or religion or whatever you might think of when one is engaged in a struggle one is looking for others to join him are you with us or are you against us is it us versus them okay and if you then choose to pick a lane those who do become who become you know um you know, who help that person throw rocks at their enemies they become more than friends they become partners all right so you want to be in a position to be partnering with your uh, intended audience and you want to be partnering with them to get the solution which they are looking for so now you see my topic is not that dark if you really open up your mind to see that's how human beings are wired to connect but you only connect with those that are um you know uh flocking in the same uh lane or going in the same direction as you all right so i think we we talk we talk a lot about how then do you showcase um you know your where you stand and how you do that you do that through storytelling and i think storytelling is one of the marketing industry's biggest buzzwords and every marketer knows that when you tell stories it's actually a powerful way for you to communicate back in the time when people used to live in caves that's how they used to educate the young ones on which berries to eat and which animals or which a saber tooth is is um you know uh, the teeth are not toys for the young ones okay so even if you watch today's world we use disney um you know and maybe coco melon as a means to pass on important information to our young ones and those are just stories okay and and if you craft your stories well your life experience and your life journey can actually be then you know the 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 guide that other people need in order for them to have a happier existence and in the process people also need to um you know clarify and classify which direction they're headed to based on the leadership and if the leadership is showing them that they value the same things guess what they become partners uh on that journey so it's been true obviously since the dawn of the human race people have always used stories to warn each other of danger and relate to epic adventures throughout the generations and as they always say it depends on who is telling the story um on how history can then be told and people connect with these stories at an emotional level and for that reason they actually do remember them so stories are powerful but what if you can make storytelling even more what if you could actually use it as a tool to galvanize your prospects to actually join you on the journey all right so i think those uh, that are on this journey you would have heard um you know um uh, people like um russell barnson when he wrote his book uh, the expert secrets and i think there's a lot of other people katie martell again from how um you know hubspot she presented a talk on how to stop competing with everyone um who is vying for your prospects business by actually redefining what you are fighting against and she encourages marketers to stop waging a war against your competition and start 
fighting something bigger. You know, when I heard this talk or when I listened to these experts speak, I realized that the idea of fighting a shared enemy is actually galvanizing. It's not something new or new endo. It is something that is actually happening around us. And perhaps it's one of the more powerful, um, you know, marketing gimmicks or strategies out there. And it's much, much more better than making your customer the hero of the story. And yes, I mean, obviously the customer is always right and everything else. And yes, your customer absolutely must be the hero of your story. But if being a hero isn't enough to make your, your, your prospects decide to buy from your company over any other option, what will make your prospect choose your company? You need to join them in the fight against an enemy they care about conquering. This is where you really need to identify your market, find out what their pain points are. Because if you come to Live Long Digital, we know that you've been spending a lot of your days working isolated by yourself on a computer in a very dark room trying to build your business. I know that you spend most of your last moments um, on your pillow worried about how you're going to get clients. And I also know you are feeling the pinch of the raising ad costs at the moment and you're worried about the next lockdown. You see, all of these things are your enemies. The lockdowns, the raising ad costs, you know, you having sleepless nights because you don't know where your customers are going to come from. Or you're worried about losing your customers because maybe things closed down because of yet another lockdown. Or you keep chasing potential clients and asking them if they've read your proposal yet because you haven't got an automated system that is independently working uh, to generate leads for you while you sleep. So how do I then bring all of this together and help my clients throw rocks um, at their own enemies? What do we do? We help them build systems that drive leads. We help them harvest those leads and then convert them into happy customers. All of those things are um, the enemies of our, our customers. And by us creating a business that's profitable and enjoyable, we're shooting all of those enemies with one stone. So win by becoming an ally in fighting a shared enemy with your prospect. And when you identify what that enemy is for your prospect and your customers, and they are driven to want to work with you, and they obviously, um, if somebody's spending sleepless nights trying to find customers, what's the next thing they're going to do in the morning? Find somebody who can help them throw a rock at that thing that's keeping them up at night. And when I, as a digital agency, have positioned myself, um, you know, to be an ally, I automatically stand out from any competition that could be out there who is vying for their attention. And in the process, I'm now creating a movement that actually spreads. You know why? I'm giving sleep back to my prospects. And who wouldn't want to talk about that at a barbecue? Because they'll be like, Sally, why are you so energetic? They'll be like, you know what? I'm actually getting sleep these days. You know why? Because now I can get my clients. Now I don't have to worry about ad costs. Now I don't even worry when the next lockdown is going to come in. And I'm not even worried about losing my clients. You know why? Because my systems are working for me. You might just think that maybe this is something that is um, not in front of us. But look at how Nike and their customers stand against mediocrity. All right. What Nike, What is Nike's slogan? I want you to just think about it in your head right now. What is Nike's slogan? You got it, right? Right. Nike sells shoes. What do they have to do with doing it? Right? Nike, Adidas, Puma, Reebok, all of those people sell shoes. But with Nike, it's a whole different story. Their fight is not against Puma or New Balance or Rebook or Jordans. Their ads don't even lead with the fantastic features of how cushiony their shoes are or how they make you bounce or how they, um, you, know, um, you know, help you, uh, you know, do your sport. You know what their ads tell the customers to do? It tells their customers to get their behinds off the couch. Just do it. Oh, I don't feel like running. Just do it. Oh, it's raining. Just do it. Because you know what Nike's um, customer's enemy is? Cu their customer's enemy is mediocrity. 
not having the power or the strength to do something that you absolutely want to do, right? So they're fighting against that. They're fighting against inertia. And the same old, same old um, not doing anything. If you're looking at your pair of Nikes, you'd be like, oh, just do it. Just do it. And be before you know it, you've run around the block or you've run a mile um, in your shoes. So Nike is helping you blast past or helping their customers blast past what's holding them back and performing at their best. You know, and from, from, from that, they now make a difference that they want to make in the world. So what is it that your, your, your clients are facing right now, which they are calling their enemy? And if you figure out what that is, start throwing rocks at it. Start throwing rocks at it. And like what Nike says, just do it. Because you want to believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. That's how you win in this game. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us are trying to find out what our competition is doing, how they're tweaking their website, how they're tweeting, yet we're forgetting that our customers are on a journey. They're yearning to connect. They're yearning to belong. How are we making them understand that we are going to be with them throughout? You know, because when you have a shared enemy um, approach to business, you no longer worry about what your competition is doing because you now identify and align your company against what your, um, you know, customers are looking for. Even your marketing becomes cheaper. You know what I mean? Because your customers are already looking for those things. No one goes to the internet searching for uh, the exact keywords that you're running on your SEO there. They're looking at what their problems are. And if you can anticipate what their problems are, they can always attribute a solution to yourself. Because I associate from what I was saying, instead of using the word enemy, what is your customer's pain point? First, when you start talking about an enemy, I think people just start thinking, oh, okay, this is a little bit evil. But focus on the pain your customers are feeling. Like we mentioned Nike earlier on, Nike's customers hate feeling inadequate. Nike's customers hate mediocrity. You know, they hate feeling like they're wasting their lives. They just want to do it. All right? So as you would know, Humans are hardwired to avoid pain. And if that enemy becomes a pain on a neurobiological level or even at a psychological level, they would do anything to walk away from a pain just so that they can get, um, you know, satisfaction. And because that enemy represents pain, telling stories that focus on a common enemy gives you the opportunity to actually tap into to the prospect's desire to avoid pain and pursue pleasure. You're not just working on a science-based neurological um, approach to marketing. And you're positioning your company as one that would stand with them against whatever fear or anxiety that might be generated by having that pain and against the frustration of having to deal with that pain day in and day out. Because people don't want to know or don't like to feel like they're helpless. So you're saying, hey, I'm here. We'll fight with you against this pain. And together we will win. Now, who is going to um, get people rallying behind them? Um, you or your your competitor who's just blurting out um, features and benefits. You know? And once you have all these allies, it actually fulfills another psychological desire to belong, right? Now, according to, um, I think it was Ma Abraham Maslow who came up with the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Countless psychologists have also um, supported this work. And they say human beings have this need to belong. And it's a fundamental motivator for all humans. Even kids, they want to belong to their parents. Even us as um, human beings, we want to belong to families. We want to belong to, um, you know, sectors of our community. We want to belong somewhere. And we want to be loved. And that's why we, we draw at least part of our identity from the groups that we associate with. Why... Um, you know, that's why, you know, things like churches and gangs and cults exist because people are seeking to belong. 
So when he tells stories that uh, focus on a common enemy, you're actually creating some sort of a tribe of people who are gathered together to fight against this enemy. And your prospects and customers can easily identify with the group, which then creates that sense of belonging that they're longing for. You know? And then and, and, and once you, you have identified that there's actually an enemy to face, because the reason why this whole storytelling is so powerful is, is that it rivets on conflict. Have you ever seen the, the hero's journey where everything starts? Any Disney movie you can look at right now. Everything starts off hunky-dory. Everyone is happy within the community. You know, kids are playing. It starts off like that. And then something happens. A lightning bolt or an enemy comes in. And then the hero goes on a journey to actually find himself. And then they almost die. And then they come back. All right, so all of that is conflict, and conflict creates drama. And guess what? We've got drama receptors in our brains, which we have now started calling the monkey brain. And we want to know what happens. We, we that's why we get riveted on a on a movie for two hours because we want to see how the hero is going to conclude the movie. We want to cheer on the good guy. You know, and, and, and conflict depends on having an enemy to fight. So that's why movies are very popular because we're taking people on a journey and every main actor or protagonist has an antagonist. Batman has, oh my God, I'm going to get this wrong. But <laughs> there's always a villain. Um, you know, there's always a kryptonite, you know, and, and, and there must be something to fight against. Oh, it's not a compelling story. Nobody wants to hear about it. And when you focus your marketing on a common enemy, you're telling the most engaging type story. You know why? Because you're taking people through a journey. You're not just telling people about yourself. You're telling them that here are the rocks. Let's throw them at our enemies. And once you have that shared enemy, it actually works at every stage of your buyer's journey and beyond. Depending on how you've structured your business and how you want to actually grow it, you know, there are many marketing tools maybe best uh, suited for particular stages in the buyer's journey, right? So certain messages that might work better maybe at the top of the funnel or in the middle or at the bottom or the actual conversion stage. And your prospects, they've got different questions or different approaches to solving whatever problem they might have. So their needs will actually predicate or determine whatever um, they are aware about how you will be able to solve their problems. So their needs in the awareness stage um, that they have um, are different to when they actually now make a decision to want to work with you. So by talking about, you know, that common enemy, you're actually galvanizing your prospects at every and any stage of the journey. So in fact, the shared enemy will actually continue to galvanize them even after they've become customers. And they'll continue to spread the word and actually recruit others to join in the fight. And because they care about fully conquering the enemy, this shared enemy does more than help sell your products and services. It actually creates a movement. <laughs> Not a cult, but actually a movement of people who view your business or your company as an ally they need in a fight they're determined to win. And that is powerful marketing, my friend. So obviously, if you're going through a tough time in your business and you would want your business to be different, you know, with, with the benefits of a monthly recurring cash flow and, you know, you don't require to follow up on people because they don't quite understand what it is that you do and what you do for them. And you have to rely on Google or Facebook in order to get clients. Start figuring out what your clients are going through right now and help them conquer it. All right. Like I said earlier on, that when you actually determine what this enemy is, it will be the growing, it will be the determining factor of growing your business because you now create an us versus them within your community. And when you realize that no, everyone is going to be your customer, you will definitely have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So I encourage you to escape the trap of being subservient to your clients, escape having to reinvent the wheel 
with every new client and escape running a business that is not really scalable by focusing on choosing your lane, choosing your side, and also getting your customers to understand that you are an ally to them and you will be with them uh, throughout their, their journey in order for them to have a happy existence. I really hope that you're going to start um, looking into this seriously and uh, looking at it in not a way of fighting people out there, but just helping your customers throw rocks at their enemies. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work. So look no further than the Live Long Digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners. Join our community today. Find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au. Network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level. www.community.livelongdigital.com.au.